Welcome back to The Source of the Rings, where we look at the signs, codings, and real-life inspirations behind characters in the works of J.R.R. Tolkien. Today we continue our journey through The Hobbit as we come to Esgaroth upon the Long Lake, also known as Lake Town. Yes, for this episode I'm focusing less on any one individual and instead on a location, more specifically on Lake Town. Esgaroth is unique among the major cities and towns in Tolkien's Legendarium, there isn't really a concrete explanation for how it came to be. Sure, this is par for the course for the settlements of men that are east of Gondor, but most of those settlements play little to no role in the stories of Middle-earth. Lake Town, however, though lacking in historical context, is rife with physical description, and we even have a drawing by Tolkien that pictures it. Lake Town sits on wooden pillars in the Long Lake, and served as a place of commerce for both Mirkwood and Rune, the region to the east of Gondor. The town encircled a marketplace around a pool connected to the lake, and there were quays and ramps that led to the water. There were also uninhabited structures on the shore of the lake that Bilbo saw. Lake Town harbored refugees from Dale and welcomed Thorin and his company, helping them to reach Erebor. Lake Town is also unique in that it is a republic, with its masters being elected. The master of Lake Town during The Hobbit is greedy, but the master following him was wise and prosperous. Still, following the Battle of the Five Armies, Lake Town was placed under the protection of the Kingdom of Dale, and later, during the War of the Ring, Lake Town assisted Erebor in the Battle of Dale. So, was there anything that inspired Tolkien to create Lake Town? While I tried to find as many towns inside of lakes as I could, I didn't have much luck outside of locations I already knew. Sure, there are towns and cities with canals. Gietorn, Annecy, Venice, Birmingham, Bangkok. They all resemble aspects of Lake Town, but none of them are on lakes. Venice is especially often touted as the supposed true inspiration for Lake Town, but I can only think of two towns that fit with Esgaroth. The first matchup is Lijiang, specifically the old town of Lijiang. Lijiang is over a thousand years old and the old town sits in the water with canals and bridges throughout the municipality, save a few homes that are on the shores of the Lugu Lake. Though originally and still mostly associated with the Nashi people, Lijiang's position and its accessibility quickly made it a hub of trading, in both the old tea trails and in the Silk Road, and was perhaps the most important hub of commerce in the latter. This unique position allowed multiple ethnic groups to not only inhabit Lijiang, but also influence its culture, forming a market town representative of much of China and beyond. It certainly fits the bill of Lake Town. In one of Peter Jackson's few good choices in the Hobbit movies, he accurately depicted Lake Town as diverse, and it most certainly would have been. As with Lijiang, when a northern township is connected by water to the south, you see a wide range of people come together to trade, eat, and live. Lake Town would have been home to its original founders, whose identity isn't entirely clear in the novel, refugees of Dale, and merchants from the east in Rune, and also probably some elves. There's even a mountain that can be seen from Old Town Lijiang, something the Venice argument doesn't have going for it. And what's the name of the mountain above Lijiang? Oh, just Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. I mean, come on. Further still, Tolkien's illustration of Lake Town shows that the buildings have upturned corners on their roofs, a facet of traditional Chinese architecture. And the lake men are shown using a dragon boat, which originated in southern China. Like I said in my video on Erebor, the events toward the end of The Hobbit take place farther east than the Lord of the Rings ever goes, save Mordor, and Tolkien used elements of Southeast Asian culture to make Lake Town and Erebor seem unique. Not necessarily alien or other, but different and unexpected. Still, like I said, there is another town that matches Lake Town. Lijian is not entirely made out of wood like Lake Town is. In fact, almost all water villages around the world are reliant on some type of mortar, brick, or stone. However, there is one village that I was able to find that relies on wood for their homes. Ganvi is a village in southern Benin, situated on Lake Nokoi. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Founded by the Tofinu people fleeing slavers, this 400-year-old village is made nearly entirely out of wood houses on top of stilts. This nearly unique architectural style is amazing, and I highly recommend you check it out. What's more, Tolkien's villagers of Lake Town are called the Lake Men, and the men of Ganvi are called Watermen. Again, all of this may be speculation, but one thing's for sure. 
Tolkien's Lake Town would have been an interesting, diverse location, and though unique, it would have borne some resemblance to the fantastical architecture that can be found on our world.